Hey hey, Izzy Noodles back again with part 4 of Babylon is Fallen. In the last video we did a timed run and we ended up in here. So, let's have a look where we are. In this main room, you've got left and right there are lion statues. And on the left, the third one actually has a lion behind it. I think he took off quite a bit of health just then. Never mind. Right, so what we want to do now is... There are two levers we need to pull. Two of these lions have levers as tails. So that's the third one on the left, just here. Okay, so we can see what that did. And the second one is the first one on the right as we enter the room. Okay. So now we can climb up. Get rid of that box. Here we go. So climb into this gap and do a running jump. And for some reason you can't do a running jump after you've done a roll like that to here. Usually you can, but not for this one. It doesn't give her enough space for some reason. So just step back like that so she does her animation. And that means she's as far back as she can get. So, do a running jump. And climbing up there opens a the door. Not really sure about the Tomb Raider lo logic behind that one. But anyway. You can see there that's a receptacle. We need to find something to put in there. And before I go through the door that's just opened, there are some shotgun shells over here. So just grab them, jump over. And getting back is a bit trickier. So I think I'm not there I'll do it. You want to jump back twice. And then do your standard run and jump. There we go. And to get down, you want to be on the lower side, otherwise you'll take fall damage. Okay, so the door that opened is behind the second lion on the left. And you can see in this room, there are three doors. And we can't access them for now, so you want to come into this well-hidden pool of water and try and get out of the stupid plant. You want to pull this lever. There is a timed door through here. Not this door, this is a troll door. Just go over the top of that and right here is where the door would be. And it's got a really long timer on it so you really don't need to rush to get through there. So, come to the end. There we go, so grab the ledge to drop down. Grab your shotgun. Shoot him in the face and him in the face. Super duper. So now we need to start climbing up. It looks really complicated, but it's really not. <laughs> so, over here, the opposite end of the room where we entered. Flip back and then forward. There we go. So you don't need to be right at the top, but just flip back and grab. So make your way round to the opposite side of this pillar. Yes, pillars and ladders. <laughs> now straight across to that ledge over there okay and here you want to do a standing jump because you get the wrong angle when you do a running jump and she lands straight into the spikes <laughs> and we don't want that so 
next shoot the orange orb and we get a rope pretty easy rope so don't panic that there's a rope easy peasy actually having said that that makes it look not so easy peasy <laughs> okay okay one step at a time <laughs> oh my god Okay, I'm back at this damn stupid rope. Okay, so trying again. If you're wondering why I've shot the orb again, it's because I reloaded. I was so frustrated I started again. <laughs> so, yes, yes, I got it. Oh, okay, on the rope. You do not need very much momentum at all. So either this ledge or the one just to the right of that. Right, so. Right, so here you've got another pole, you can see it there. You want to do another standing jump, otherwise Lara will overshoot and land straight in the fire. <coughs> so she just misses it, she is perfectly safe, <coughs> even though she just misses it. <coughs> So you want to come to the left side now and then do a running jump and veer around to the right side so that she will grab this. Shimmy a little bit. You do not want to be all the way to the left. So climb up and jump and turn and grab. Because when she's all the way to the side, she won't grab the pole. I don't know why. That's just how it goes. So, if you remember the lever for the, the timed run we did, it was behind grey blocks like that. So, just make your way over there. She kind of glitched a bit then, but it's okay. Okay, there we go. We've got a jump switch. And you saw the pedestal that was over there. So, just grab the jump switch. And now there is a gem on the pedestal. So, just make your way back. Okay, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, not that tricky. Okay, I am having such bad luck today. <laughs> I've died many times getting back here. Right, so, we've got the gem there, and before I get that, I will just nip and grab a small med pack, which is an even trickier jump. So from the slope here, you want to take one step to the side, because for some reason on this jump the slope is severely in the way. So just run and jump from there. There we go, just grab that med pack. And now you want to get rid of these because otherwise you don't have enough space to do a run and jump to get back. And for some reason it is a lot harder to get back from here. Let's have some of that just in case. There we go, that was perfect. Alright. So, now we see a boulder to my left, a boulder to my right, and as soon as we pick this gem up they're gonna squish Lara. So, yes, as soon as you grab it, you want to jump and flip to the right. And that's how you do it. Okay, so now you want to hop off this way and be in the center because there is a jump switch across the way, just behind Lara. You want her hands at the top of this, the black grate, just there. You can be about there. Either one, I don't think it matters. And just flip back. There we go. There we go. And now, you want to jump back. Okay, so we know where that is. We've been there. What am I looking at? What is that? Okay, so if we didn't flip, 
you would land in the spikes on top of the boulders. <gasps> oh no! Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. <laughs> We're safe. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> so now this room in out is out of the way. Let me first show you what I picked up. That is Daniel's reward. So it is just a simple gem. There's a few more later in the game and they are named after people. I don't know whether they're just you know, friends of the person who made the game or whether they have actual deep meanings. I don't know. But that's what they are. They're just gems with intriguing names. Here we go. Oh. Right, so just climb out. And this door is now open. We've got a statue there which we can push. And if we look at the ceiling, there is a crescent moon. And we need to put the statue on each crescent moon tile. Avoiding the ones that are very different. The two, one in front of Lara and to the right. Because those are spike traps. You can stand on them, but if you push the statue onto them, <coughs> Uh, Lara will be impaled. So don't put the statue there. <laughs> so this is a very annoying and very tediously long-winded part of the game. <laughs> so just bear with it. Grin and bear it. Because it would be easier if you could actually stand in the tiny gap on either side of the statue. So you didn't have to keep running around the statue. But, unfortunately not. You need to stand in the entire space because Lara has a fat ass. <laughs> okay. So the door behind is open. And inside here we've got a water skin. And now if we look at the ground, all the tiles have changed. How bizarre. How bizarre. So you just want to pull the statue onto the only tile that now looks different, which is right in the centre. Uh. Okay. And that has opened this door. So if you make your way out, if you approach the door at the end, it will open. And we are back in a familiar room. Here we go. So you want to climb back up to the top again. Okay. I didn't mention that across the other side of the room there, you can go over there, but it's full of death water. You can just see the red glow of the death water. So, let's place Daniel's reward. And the death water is gone. Or some. Now you want to make your way over there, because we want to fill the water sack, the um, the water skin. And you do need to do a curved jump just here, which is actually pretty easy. Yeah, you do not get set on fire at all. You get pushed, but if you veer, you will certainly make that jump. Okay. So now we have a full water skin and we use it in this room, in this part right here. It is the only part in the room. There we go. 
straight through here. And you remember me telling you right in the first video, there are what looks like two buttons that are actually receptacles. This is a tablet that goes in one of the receptacles, but we won't be placing it till close to the end. So you see we had a load screen and Lara's health is up, but this is not the third part of, like the third sort of level of the game. It's showing us where to go for the third level. We need to find our way to there. So for now, we are actually back in a familiar place. We just need to get to the next area. Here we are, here's the fountain room. So this guy that you saw will come through this door. Here he is. So take care of him. A bit long-winded. Whoa, don't hit me. He didn't hit me, that's good. So before I make any more progress to that area, you see down there there is a grate which is shootable, but we have a look, we've got pistols, shotgun, and well, that's it. But there is a trick. If you look while you hold the shotgun, because Lara holds it with her upper body, she angles with it. Oh. There you go, you can shoot the grate. And inside is a secret with a large med pack. So now we know, the more you know. Okay, so now we can just make our way straight to that other area, the new area. So if we come here, so this room is where we picked up two cogwheels, remember that? We don't need to, we've already done it. If we come through here, this is actually a return path for somewhere we've already been. Because we were running around up there before, so if you fell off, you'd have to go all the way around and start again. Which I didn't tell you, I probably should have done. So if you approach this area, if you'd come through here before now, you would just get a dead end. But now we have a cutscene. That's not a cutscene, that's a load screen. So we are in the third section, which is called Hidden Gardens. This section is Hidden Gardens. If we run on in with the pistols, there is a poisonous harpy. Do not go near it. Where is it? Whoa, too close. <laughs> right. <laughs> so in this room, there is some shotgun shells. So that's behind the pillar where we entered. And in this corner, some poison tipped arrows. Ooh. And behind, or underneath, or inside, whatever you want to call it, this thing, there are some flares. Okay, so when we came in this area, you, no you noticed this door opened as the harpy came through. And there is another door further round. If we approach it, it will open. And we need that door open. So we can make a running jump to this ledge. Magic. Okay, so now... Hop up. And now, just watch out for the strange dart trap. You could just shimmy all the way around. Oh. Well, maybe not, because she's gone off on one. Oh, I think you do have to use the monkey bars, actually. There are monkey bars to use. There we go, just in case I get frustrated again. 
Yeah, you see. I'm too lazy to actually climb back up. So her feet will probably get caught by the darts depending on whereabouts you land. So if you follow it long ways, all the way down, there you see a med pack on the left. That's the only reason for coming down this way, otherwise you would just get to the other side of the block that I was actually trying to climb. So just drop and grab. And then do a running jump. And I have never been hit by a dart there, doing a run and jump there. So do not panic. Here we go, just run and jump back. And now it's a bit easier to grab the monkey bars from here. Here we go. And you can see a big square, big tile on the wall. That is a giant button. So we're making our way across to press the button. Here we go, so just let go and grab. Push the button. So that showed us a door that's open. There's actually two doors that opened. So let's go find the first one. Because the second one is behind the first one. Just because. Here we go. This corner where we, um, the opposite corner where we picked up those arrows this door opened and you see these these raised tiles just here if we step on them that door closes but this one has just opened so to save going all the way back up across the monkey bars and whatnot to open that door again there is another switch just up in the ceiling up here not easy to climb into I mean you can't line yourself up to get the perfect climb in but that's all right okay so you see again a different door has opened now as, as well as the first one and that is so we can run around the outside and back inside without going over those tiles here we go and you see the lamp in the middle if you think, got to think about, well the pistols have changed as well by the way, I don't know why, but it makes no difference. Here we go, there's a funny looking griffin. There we go, it's incredibly easy <laughs> to get rid of. So, this is actually where I'm going to end it today. So just get the griffin out of the way and then I will start the next puzzle in the next video. So thank you for joining me and I hope to see you next time. Take care. See you soon.